Magikarp down there. Do you know what time it is? Butt pillow time. <laughs> Alright, I find it as weird as you grains perhaps, or maybe not, but a lot of you were pretty much into my butt pillow. I don't know why. <laughs> Alright, so as promised, I will be going through more packages more often. What did you do? Confess! I am waving a sharp pointy thing at you. <laughs> So since I have so many packages and uh, I'm not even kidding a third of my room is completely hidden in boxes I figured it would be a good time to continue opening up your packages, especially some of them have been since um, March Goben nasai, forgive me. So we're going to go through some of these packages and I have quite a few huge boxes This one here is pretty big and it is from Jamie in Australia. How cool is that? Jamie, I am sorry. You will need to forgive my salty little soul, but I am super excited to see what you grains sent over. I know that a lot of you have been sending me also craft kits, so I'm really curious. By the way, post office kind of did this, so I really hope there's nothing fragile inside, except for maybe our hearts. I don't know why, but I was never gifted with opening boxes or anything in a civil in a civil kind of way. I'm always so destructive, even though I'm gentle. I don't know how that happens, but it apparently does. This is quite the box, by the way. <laughs> Jamie, what kind of box is this? Holy moly! Wow! Where do I start? First, I'm going to start. <gasps> Oh my god! Okay, I need I need to put this somewhere. So according to the letter, this is a package from Jamie and Leia. Leia is a costume designer, and these are their Instagram and YouTube. And Jamie is a creature artist and short filmmaker. How cool is that? Both of them sent me some craft kits, but also look at that. This is a really cool drawing. I assault you. <laughs> what is that? <gasps> These look like salty nunchucks. That is so cool. You're really good at drawing. I wish I was good at drawing. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I love this so much. I need to frame this. Look at Bulbasaur going nani and the salt is spilled. You know how we spill the tea? Well, I think we just need to spill the salt. This is probably one of my favorite drawings. The facial, I don't know why. I absolutely love facial expressions that are like this. It's so weird. I love it. This is going to go on my drawing board. Okay, so how, how do I do this? I'm gonna put this over here. I was just told in the letter that there's a special way to eat Tim Tams. I've only had them the first time ever at VidCon when Jazza brought them to the party. I was like, what? Jazza, what are these magical things? And I had them for the first time and they were so delicious. So now I know you're supposed to bite each end off and then drink your coffee through it like a straw and then enjoy the gooeyness. That's magic right there. So I'm gonna definitely be trying that. All right, so the first kit we have, sew your own doggy purse. And this one is $6.99 Australian dollars. Apparently an old lady thought it was make your own Merkin kit. That is so weird, look at that. That's probably not going to take too much time to make, I hope. But that's gonna be interesting to try Australian craft kits. Next we have felt sewing unicorn backpack. Holy moly, that looks like a nightmare to make. Apparently it's easy way to sew a lovely unicorn backpack. Questionable life choices unicorn. <laughs> Five Australian dollars. I am really loving these descriptions. They are hilarious, so I'm keeping these so that when I do the video, I know exactly how to describe them. Next, we have create your own diary book. This one actually looks good. I'm really excited about this one. It was $7.99. And then there's a picture of a cow and a book. <laughs> Hey, are you judging this unicorn as being a cow? Don't ever judge a unicorn by its cow patterns. And then the next thing we have is wooden loom. I think I saw Soul Craftastic do a kind of wooden loom, and I've been very curious about this, but I have no idea if it's going to be any good. Jamie says, no idea, thought you might like. But you know I don't like textiles, why you gotta do me like that? I feel like you grains enjoy watching me struggle with things I, I'm not a fan of, but you know what? I kind of enjoy doing things I'm not a fan of because it's funny. Next we have air spray markers. <gasps> Is that like the 
the thing the, the, where you kind of blow a brain while you're trying to blow... Oh my god, there's no good way to say it. You know, you know the marker? Yeah, I think that's what it is. But wait, it looks like it has like this mechanism that's holding it. Oh, it's a squeezy. That's so interesting. And this one says the salt runs deep with this one and it's $14.99 Australian dollars. Holy moly, Jamie and Leia, thank you so much for sending all of this stuff. I feel like all of this should be in one video, so I am super excited to try all of this. I hope the salt is not gonna rise, but they probably will. But I hope not. But actually, I do hope so. This next box is from Sybil from Maryland, and it says, I'm so sorry, Christmas in July. So this has been since July. Interesting fact, Every time I hear the word Maryland, see, I can't open it like a normal person would. I always think of a, what's it called? A theme park in Egypt. There's actually a theme park called Maryland. And I remember it being really fun as a kid. So every time I hear Maryland, I think of a theme park back in Egypt. I have the note. All right, so Sybil found this, oh my gosh. Holy moly, that is huge. So yeah, Sybil wants to see whether or not I can turn this into a creature. And of course we have to get rid of the plastic over here. So we would have to knock it out before creating some kind of monster with this. Wow, that is quite a huge piece. I don't think I've ever used a sculpture this big for sculpture makeovers, but that's definitely that's definitely real cool. I'm going to be putting it in my inventory of sculptures over there. I think I have like three or four more, but... Did I just smack his butt? There you go, snowman. <laughs> it would be cool. Probably should have opened this package way sooner so that I could have done it for Christmas time. It's still time though. This next one is from Leia Maria from Switzerland, I believe. So it looks really nicely packaged. I really hope I'm not too late. When was this sent? July. Good job, Jackie. I hope your greens are still around because... Ah! Dang it! What? Okay, and... Oh! Oh my gosh! I love Kinder everything! So we have a Kinder egg chocolate. Those are one of my favorites. They're not that easy to find here. And then we have a Ragusa, Ragusa chocolate bar. I'm gonna try this out. Ooh, another Ragusa, but this one is dark chocolate. Super interesting. Not sure I've ever seen Risoletto. Oh my gosh, we have some Kinders. Two of these, they're kind of busted. Luckily we get them in Canada though, so mm, they smell good. Hopefully they weren't too damaged. Then we have a chocolate bar called Branches. That is really neat. What is this? This one is called A Malzen. I'm probably ruining all the names here, but we're gonna take a taste out of these. But before we do that, I have a letter. So let's let's read Leia's letter. Redder. Redder. English number one. <gasps> no! No, 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 no! That is so cool! Ermi Gerd! That is so well drawn! <laughs> So we have regular nerdy crafter, we have salty crafter, and burb! Oh my gosh! This is so well done! I'm going to be framing this. I need frames to put everywhere. You grades are so talented! Okay, I need I need to read the letter. Alright, interesting. The box says that this is from Leia, but the drawing and the note says Emmy. And we have also the art. I guess this is for Instagram, maybe? Let me know if it is. I hope it is Emmy, and I'm not messing it up. And it even says Emmy on the art over here. Man, I love this so much. As a general rule, I do love Swiss chocolate, so. And I get the sketch, by the way. I am so appreciative of all the things that you grains really send. It's just, you're so talented. It really makes my day. I'm going to help myself with one of these chocolate eggy things because they're so good. I already know what they are. Mm, it is so good. This is what it looks like on the inside. And I feel like we should try the risoletto. I'll only try a couple of them because I don't want to let them take out too much air. I really do take my time with sweets. So this one looks like a rice crispy type. Mm, I can't tell what's on the inside. So it has like this caramelly flavor to it, but at the same time it almost tastes like almond paste. 
Ok, it's written in French. Chocolat au lait, so chocolate milk, avec crispies de riz, so rice crispies, I was right. Et fourrage au caramel, so that's like a caramel filling. Thought you had me, huh? I speak French. I got you. I'm gonna try one more of these chocolates because I don't want to be bouncing around all day. I want to try branches. And this one on the outside kind of looks like peanuts. I don't know if it is. Oh, that smells way sweeter than the other ones. Oh, that's gotta be hazelnut. So it has a Nutella taste to it. This is probably one of my favorites. If there's anything about chocolate that I really love, it's gotta be the ones with hazelnut flavor in them. This is really good. I'm gonna save this for later. So thank you so much, Emmy. I am super happy and I, I, I can't wait to be eating these over the holidays and getting just a couple more pounds in my belly because they're delicious. But hey, it's the holidays, so it's inevitable. Just accept it. This next package is from Sarah from Saint Fabien. I think that is local. I think Sarah is in the same province as I am, which is in Quebec in Canada. When was this sent? I hope this is September and not in March because it says 0903. Oh my god. Oh, what is that? We have three of these packed. These are really pretty papers. Might have to reuse them. And I have the note. Let us see what Sarah says. Okay, this is probably one of the most touching letters that I've ever gotten. So this is from Sarah, who is 16 years old, who had quite a bit of difficulty in her life. And Sarah, look, I'm, I'm getting goosebumps. I can't do this. You greens can't do this to me. Sarah was going through quite a bit of a hard time. And even through that kind of hard time, she felt like watching my videos was helping ground her. So I just wanted to say, Sarah, I love you so much. If ever I see you in Comic-Con, I will be, by the way, vending at Comic-Con con in Montreal this coming summer. Well, in 2020. If any of you grains are in Montreal in Comic-Con summer 2020, I will be a vendor there. Come and see me. Give me a big hug. I want to see you because you have no idea how much you impact my life. As much as some of you grains say that I impact yours, you have a huge impact on mine. I need to stop. I am getting teary. Stop it. So Sarah sent me some crap kits. Well, maybe they're crap. Maybe they're not. And let's check them out. And they are all under seven dollars so it was already mentioned what they were so now we're going to take a look and see what they look like no sarah why why did you put confetti do you not love me <laughs> Okay, so this here is a Nickelodeon slime kit, and I think this was $3. And then we have another slime kit over here. These are pretty simple slime kits. Look at all this confetti. Why'd you do this to me? Wow. I swear, if there's more confetti in here, I'm just, I'm just gonna give up. Yeah, yeah, look at you. Look at you. So there's a bouncy ball kit. Yes, this is the air dry clay you mentioned about doing a challenge. Usually these clays are so bad and some of them already pretty hardened, which means they are perfect. I love it when you grains send me things that could go wrong because that just makes it even more interesting and y'all know I'm a sucker for punishment. And then more, con more confetti. I'm gonna call my friend. I'm gonna have her help me clean up. <laughs> oh, no. Ah! It's stuck! Oh, what is that? That looks so cute. So this is a bath bomb kit, but that looks adorable. So thank you so much, Sarah. I'm really looking forward to this. And if ever again, any of your grains are in Montreal Comic Con 2020, come and see me. You don't have to buy anything. I've never vended at a con before. I've done little things, but I've never done a huge con. Our last box. This one here is from Samantha, and I believe this is the box Samantha told me about. So while I was in Japan, I met a couple of you grains. Some of you just bumped into me randomly. Others have actually messaged me and said that you would be there too. So we actually ended up hanging out, having supper and just chilling. So when I'm on vacation, I'll let you grains know. So if you are in town, it would be really cool to say hello because I love saying hello. So Sam and I really did hang out and we did a few things. So she did mention a couple of the stuff that's in here. So I'm really, really excited to see it. Here's the box. And, oh my gosh, that is so beautifully packed. Holy moly. Okay, let's calm down and take one bag at a time. The first baggie we have is this cute 
little Ziploc looking thing that is Pokemon themed. Look at the little Bulbasaur just sleeping. That is adorable. I want like 30 of these bags. I don't know why. I just want 30 of them. We have a Pikachu themed towel. Where are these things so cute? Oh my god! We have an All Might card. I love All Might so much. He is my, my fictional husband. Oh, that is so cute. We have unicorn stickers. These are adorable. It's like a an iridescent mirror. What? <laughs> oh my gosh, you are spoiling me. We have another All Might little keychain over here. Loving it some really cool, I guess these are supposed to be funny sentences in Japanese. I'll take some time and read them. I don't know what this is, but we have like a superhero and a monster shaking hands. Yeah, I want to read these and I'm going to find out. By the way, if you're watching this, make sure that you do translate it for me. <gasps> Aizawa Sensei! He is one of my favorite characters. I have a soft spot for teachers because I'm a teacher, so... And he's a character in, in an anime that I like. In my heart. That is a really cool pin. I actually found the note and it's behind this really cute postcard. This postcard, by the way, is absolute life. And I really like how you signed off over here. I don't know if you greens can see it. It says inspicening instead of inspiring. I like that. It should be like motivation. And we get some Pokemon stickers because Pokemon is life. This is the box that keeps on giving. <gasps> Burb stickers! I love stickers so much! So we have everything from cockatiels to budgies to macaws. Yes! I feel like I want to put everything in resin, but remember, puffy stickers don't do too well in resin. Ooh, what is that? Are these more pins? Oh! <gasps> We have a Persona Q pin. By the way, this is like my geek side. Oh, Midoriya. A My Hero Academia pin, but this is kind of like a plastic pin, like a very flexible plastic. That is really neat. Next, we have more Midoriya. I can't say this enough. I feel like I've been saying this almost every Vlogmas. If you haven't watched My Hero Academia, you get your butt online and start watching My Hero Academia. And this is, oh, so cute. <laughs> An absolutely adorable birdie little charm thingamab thingamajig. I like to put these on my bag. I have so many of these that you'll probably hear me before you see me. Frappy! She is one of my favorite female characters in My Hero Academia. She is so strong. She is so decisive. She's one of the female characters that is really strong and even a lot of the guys look up to her. Yes! Morgana, one of the coolest characters also in Persona, the one on PlayStation 4. I haven't played Persona Q, but I definitely really enjoy the one on PlayStation 4, which is Persona 5. It's a really good game. Again, these baggies are life. Oh no, this caught me off guard. We have a little Deku. I know what these, these things are called in Japanese. I forget. Is it a Dengu? I could be wrong, but you grains will correct me. What is this little character called? I know this is Deku, but what is this shape character? I know its name. I can't remember it for the life of me. I love this so much. This is going to go on my desk. I want to look at it every day. It's going to put a smile on my face. And then we have some deco treats. I'm actually intending of making a really cool series of crafting with these little tiny cups. Oh, my legs are cramping. <laughs> I've been sitting for so long. Oh my god. Oh no. For when companies do it wrong and don't give you everything you need. That is brilliant. So here is a little measuring cup, but this measuring cup measures spoons. That is so clever and that is so thoughtful. You know what, I'm taking this out and I'm putting it immediately in my drawer because then people can't say, Jake, you're doing it wrong. But then again, someone sent me an article and apparently tablespoons and all those kinds of measurements are different in the US than they are in the rest of the world. So go figure companies, do your research. <laughs> Next baggie, what is that? I see Kirby. That is, that's a lot of little acrylic things. Yes! We have a little Kirby. Is that a poop? We have a little poop. Can we squeeze it? Oh! I feel like the Kirby's... Oh, wow. That is still going. 
Oh, there's a Kirby that is pretty much inhaling its enemies. And then we have little blocks. So I feel like these are stackable Kirbys. That is really cool. It's going to be perfect in my game room. And I knew I saw a big Kirby right here. And we have a vinyl Kirby toy. Adorable. I love Kirbys. One of the characters that you can't go wrong with because it's just so cute. And almost anyone, even if they barely know gaming, they'll know Kirby. And then, oh, what is that? I have no idea what this is. So I'm going to have to go through the instructions. It's probably a craft kit to make a little heart charm. Interesting. Message me, by the way, if I'm getting it wrong, let me know. And then we have, oh yes, the Whipples. These are Japanese kits that are pretty good. Is this another Whipple? Not quite sure what this one is, but this Whipple kit in Japan, they're pretty good. They're very different than the ones we have in North America. Better quality, by the way. So. I'm really interested by this. Is this a clay kit? I'm not sure, but you know who will find out? Nerdy and Salty. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's another one of the same set. And I can't tell again if these are plastic or if they're made out of clay. We'll find out soon enough. And what is that? <gasps> is that an All Might folder? Wait, there's Midoriya in there. I love All Might. I have no shame. What you gonna do about it? Ooh, there's a couple of them. Okay. So we do have one All Might folder. By the way, this is one of the things I have a really bad habit with, which is called collecting pins and folders, which I never use, but I have an unhealthy collection. No, it's a healthy collection. I keep buying them. And then we have this one, also a folder, but this one is Midoriya. Yes! Thank you so much! All of this stuff... Whoa, this is still going. Can we... Oh, we can stop it. Keeps going until we stop it. Thank you so much to everyone who sent me something. I am still going through the boxes. I promise a third of my room is gone. I am doing my best to catch up, but today we've done four, four boxes. There's at least 30 more to go. <laughs> we'll get there, I promise, eventually. Just be very patient with me. Remember, if you want to watch more Vlogmases, check out the playlist. Compiled it just for you. And if you want to watch something else other than Vlogmas, I'll put it down here too. I'll see you in the next video.